How you doing there? Welcome back to Babylon Talmud. Today we're studying Daf Membez, Daf 40, excuse me, Daf 42 of Maserk Luxubis. Friends, um, well, um, 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 well, oh, so, oh, right, so as I mentioned uh, yesterday, although technically today, ha 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 ha, technically two minutes ago, ha 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 ha, it's like 15 minutes till Shabbos, um, so, I probably shouldn't really dilly dally. Wait, why is what? Excuse me. Uh, as I'm saying, I shouldn't dilly dally. I'm dilly dallying. One second. Come on. What is this? Let's go. Hurry up. And come on. Chaperine. What? That's ridiculous. Weird. Okay. Very weird. Uncle Ponim. So, um, right, uh, uh, we're starting a new, uh, daf, uh, a new parak over here. Um, yeah, uh, we talk about, yeah, more of like the finds of Nara, uh, um, you know, Shinispatsa and, uh, yeah, and then, um, we get into the concept of, uh, um, 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 Gizelos, which is interesting, Sugya. Gets a little complicated, I guess. All right. So, daf, uh, we're gonna start at the beginning of the parak and daf memalo from the base. Nairish in Espatsa, that a, um, if you have a, 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 a girl, a Naira, and there is a seduction, so, Boshta Ufgama Uknosa Shalavia, okay, so the Boshes, the Pagam, the 50 shekels Knas, Shalavia, goes to her father, okay, Be'atzar Be'tfusa, and also if there's Tsa'ar by uh, Ones, so then, that also goes to the father. All the payments go to the father. Okay, so if they went to court, and the father was alive, shall of. So the money belongs to the father. Now, that is whether they award the money to the father, and the father receives the payment, whether the father doesn't receive the payment, but they came to court, and they said that, uh, you know, this Anes, the fellow, needs to pay the father. So, what if the father now dies? Well, I think it's whether, well, not I think, it's whether he received the payment, whether he didn't receive the payment. Once they came to court, and the court determined that uh, this fellow, right, the, the, the Anes, needs to pay this money. So, it belongs to the father. If the father dies... So then her brothers will inherit it. So speak a lamur badin ad But if the father died before they stepped foot in Bezdin, and now by the time she gets to Bezdin, the father's already dead, Harehain shall Atma will then she is awarded the money. She's Yesoma, she is awarded the money. Um her father was dead by the time that she got to court. Right, I meaning the only way that her brothers would get the money is if they're inheriting their father and they would get the inheritance and not her. But if um, the father was dead by the time she went to court because of this whole situation, well, then she's the one who gets the money. If she went to Bezdin, and when she went to Bezdin, she was still in Naira, shall of. So then the money goes to the father, Mesa of, Arain shall Achin, and if the father dies, then the money belong is inherited by her brothers. Though we speak alamud but if um, by the time she stepped foot in Bezdin, she was already a bogeres, well then shall atma. Then the money goes to her because she's a bogeres; she's not a naira anymore. Reb Shimon Omer imlo speak legabos of that if when they got to right, so if they came to Bezdin, she's a, still a naira. And they said, okay, yeah, this guy did it. He needs to pay the fine. Then the father dies before collecting it. So whereas the Tanakama said that it already belongs to the father and the uh, brothers would then inherit it, Rib Shimon says, Hare and Shalatzma. If the father never actually collected it, he was owed it but never collected it, and then he died, so then the money goes to her um, and the brothers don't inherit it. My Siodel Mtsiosa, now by Anaira, so it says, that any uh, things that she did or found or anything, even if they haven't been collected, so let's just, she had a job and she got paid for the job, that, that money is, goes to the father, and 
And if the father dies, so then these funds go are inherited by the brother. Says the Gemara, my Kamash Malon Tonino. How come we need a Mishnah to tell me? What does the Mishnah say? It starts off. What? It's te- teaching us that there's Boshes and, and, and Tsar and Pagam. I mean, Tanina, we learned that already. Andaf Lamites. Hamifate. That when it comes to Mifate, no sin shlosha dvarim, there's three payments. The onus I bo'o. And by onus there's four. Hamifate no sin Boshes, Ufgam, Viknas. That by mefate there is boshes pegam and knas mosif all of ones and additionally by ones you know sin is a tzar there's also tzar. So I don't understand why, why do we need this mission to say this? We have another mission that we already learned that said it. Lavia it's trichle it's Well the well, what this mission adds is that it goes to her father right? It says narish nispatz a boshes of pegam of knas shel lavia goes to the father. It didn't say that in the other mission. Lavia nami pshita but still it's obvious that it goes to the father. Mi dikar yoyev mefate. From the fact that there is payments for mifate, <clears throat> clearly then it goes to the father because the ila atzma. If we're talking about paying her, amai yoyiv mifate. Why should there be any payments by conse- uh, um, um, consensual uh, relations? Midaito ova ovad. It was consensual. Why? I mean, if the money's going to her, why should she make any money off of it? I mean. It was consensual. She, she, you know, they, they did it together. Why all of a sudden should he have to pay her for that? So, so, but the point is that it goes to the father and she didn't have the right to sort of, um, you know, the father had the right to marry her off and all right. She didn't, she, you know, she now, uh, the father doesn't have that ability anymore, at least not in the same way. And therefore, um, it goes to the father. But if, you know, so we already know we can, we can deduct on our own that we can deduce on our own. That 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 the payments go to the father and not to her. So Amda Badin it's three The Khirish of this Mishnah is to teach us about the whole thing about um, going to Bezdin, Pluk to do the Machloks of Shimvarabon, about what happens if they go to Bezdin, but the father didn't actually collect the money yet, and then he dies. So Reb Shimon says, then the money goes to her. Uh, the, uh, the Rabbonin said that um, no, the the brothers inherit it. So that uh, that whole that whole thing. That's why we need that Mishnah. Tanan awesome. <clears throat> so now listen to this. There's a Mishnah in Misech to Shavuos. You ready for this? Who could tell me what an Oshim Gzelis is? Who could tell me what the, who could tell me about the sugya of like a guy who denies something and then admits it? You know what I'm saying? That if Ruvain says to Shimon, Shimon, you stole a hundred dollars from me. And Shimon says, I, no, I didn't. And Ruvain says, do you swear? Wait, I, I lost the example anymore. Reuven says to Shimon, Shimon, you stole hundred dollars from me. Shimon says, no, I didn't. Reuven says, Shimon, swear to me, right? Do you swear that you didn't steal it? He says, yep, he swears. So, and then Shimon says, you know what? I admit it. So he has to pay back the hundred dollars plus a chomesh, which of course is really a quarter. So plus twenty five dollars, so he has to pay back one hundred twenty five dollars. Plus he has to bring an ashim gazelus. He has to bring a korban ashim. So that's what's called an Oshim Gazelo. So now, Tanan Oshim, we learn in Mesech Tashivus, Anas tu fitiza is biti. Reuven says to Shimon, either you were Me'anes or Mefate, my daughter. Vu Omer lo Anas ti velo pitisi. Says not true. Didn't happen. And therefore I'm not chayiv to you, Boshes, Pegam, Knas, nothing. Mashbiach Oni. Reuven says, do you swear? Vu Omer Omen. He says, yeah. And then um, Shimon admits to to Ruvain that um, that he um, right, that it really did happen. Chayev. So the Tanakhama says that he would be um, uh, chayev to pay. Um, uh, you know the 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 chomesh the 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 the, the Ashim Gizelas. Rab Shimon Potter. Rab Shimon says he's Potter. She'enu mishalim knas al piatzmo, because after all, it's a knas. It's a knas, as we're going to learn later. Uh, let's even go weiter for a second. In, in a second, but it says Rab Shimon, it's a knas, right? After all, the fifty shekels at least is a knas, and therefore it's not mamon. And by uh, and by and by Oshim Gzelos, it has to be mamon, as we're going to learn later on in the Yomut. So Rab Shimon says, look, if you would, you know, it's, it's mod be knas. If he admits that he did it, he's Potter. 
from the knas, and therefore he's not going to be chayiv and Oshim gazelis there. Amrul to, to the rabbi to which the rabbis responded, but Afal Pishan Mashalim Knas Al Piatmo, even though he might not be paying the fifty shekels based on his own admittance, Avam Mashalim Boshis Ufugam Al Piatmo, but he'll still be paying the Boshis and the Pakam, and the Boshis and the Pakam is not a Knas, it's Mamun, and therefore he should have to be he should be liable, right? The Rabbanon are arguing that Shimon should be liable to pay Chomesh and an Oshim Gzelos from the fact that there is the Boshes and the Pakam, which is Mamun. And 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 uh, you know, even if he admits to that, he would still have to pay it. And in the case of, you know, when he swore about it and then admitted it afterwards, he should have to pay the additional Chomesh plus Noshim Gazelos. Whereas if Shimon was focusing on the, on the 50 shekels fine, and he says no, since if he admits it, he's potter from that, and, and there's no, there's no Oshim Gazelos over there. But Amine Abaye me Rabba, Abaye as Akasha from Rabba. Ha'omer lachavero. A fellow says to his friend, right? Reuven says to Shimon, Onastu fitisa as biti. He says to Shimon, You raped or seduced my daughter. But then it doesn't stop there. Vemadticho badin. And we went to Bezdin. Vinishayav to limamun. And there were witnesses, and Bezdin said, it, you know, c- confirmed that it happened and said, Shimon, you owe Reuven. Boshes, Pagam, Knas, everything. Vehu Omer, and guess what Shimon says? It never happened. Lo Anasti, Velo Pitisi, Velo Madtoni Badin, we never went to court. Chutzpah. I was never, I never owed you anything. You're making it up, Ruvain. Go back to sleep. Vinishba, and Shimon swore. That he's telling the truth. This never happened. It was all a dream. A figment of Ruvain's imagination. Vihoda. And then Shimon admits that no, it, it really happened. So the Rib Shimon mind. So now what would Rib Shimon say? So Rib Shimon said earlier that when Ruvain uh, uh, accuses Shimon and Shimon denies it and then admits it, Rib Shimon says that Shimon would be Potter. But in that case, they never went to court, right? Here, Ruvain, uh, Shimon is ultimately admitting that they had gone to court and the court had determined that he owes the Boshes and the Pagam and the Knas and all of these things. And at this point, once he admits it, he can't get his way out of it. I mean, he can only admit it until, until the, the verdict in court has been uh, uh, said, you know. But once court determines that you owe money, you can't just say, okay, I admit it, now I'm putter. It's too late at that point. So my, so what do we say? Do we say the cave under Amr Badin? Do we say that? Well, since he, they already went to Bezdin, and Bezdin says that Shimon is chayv to pay. Mamona havoi. So therefore, we now treat uh, this knas. It's no longer a fifty shekels fine. It's fifty shekels mamon that he has to pay because Bezdin says you have to pay it. He can't just admit it anymore and get out of it. And now that Shimon swore about it and then admitted for it, he sh- and then admitted it afterwards, he should have to pay a korban shvua. Should have to pay an ostrom gzeilus. O Dilma, afal gav do amad badin. Nonetheless, knas have. Or do we say no? Even though they already went to to bezin and sure he has to pay it, but still we don't treat it as mamon with regard to to ostrom gzeilus. We treat it as a knas, and therefore he doesn't have to bring a korban shvua. Ostrom gzeilus korban shvua is the same thing. At least I'm assuming it is. So he doesn't have to bring a Korban Shavuot, right? So that would bring Knas and he doesn't have to pay the Korban Shavuot. He doesn't have to bring a Korban Shavuot. So Amr Le Mamona Havei, M'chai Vali Korban Shavuot. Rabba responds to Abaye. No, Rib Shimon would say that at this point, you know, Bezdin said he has to pay it. It's at this point considered Mamon. And when he denies it and admits it, he'll have to bring a Korban Shavuot. Fine. Eisve, Abaye Asakasha, An Rabba, Rib Shimon Omer, Says Rib Shimon, Yochola Omer Lachvero. Is it possible that if Reuven says to Shimon, Onastu Fitisa is Biti, that Shimon, you are Ma'anis who Mefata my daughter, Vo Omer Lo Anasti, Velo Pitisi, he says, I didn't do it. He Mishorcha is Avdi, Reuven says to Shimon, that your, that your, that your, um, shore, that your ox killed my slave. Vo Omer Lo Hemis, and he says, no, it didn't. Osha Omer Lo, or that Reuven says to Shimon, Avdo Ipal, Osha Omelo Avdo, 
right? Or let's say Reuven's, uh, whatever, Shimon's slave says that he, that Shimon, knocked out his, the slave's tooth. Uh, 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 where am I? That you knocked out my tooth. Are you blinded me? He says that, no, I didn't knock out your tooth. I didn't make you blind. And in any of these cases, uh, Shimon swears and then admits. Is it possible that he will have to bring a korban shvuah? Therefore, the Pasuk says that he denied from his friend by a collateral or some kind of, uh, uh, I think, what, that he lied about, I think, using something that he shouldn't have, or with or, or theft, or that he uh, did something not nice to his friend, or he denied having found the lost object, and he swore about these, meaning, in the context of Korban Shvua, it says, these examples, that these are all examples of Mamon, Avkol shein mamon, so korban shvur is dafka by mamon. Yatsu elu to the exclusion of onesu mefate to the exclusion of the eved to the exclusion of whatever the the the, the shein va'ayin shein knas that those are fines. So we see in this brayse that Reb Shimon is saying that he doesn't bring a korban shvur by onesu mefate and my love bisha amad badin, and we want to say that this is talking about. When they had already gone to Bezdin, and then after that, he denies it, and then admits it, and we're saying that he doesn't have to bring a Korban Shvua, lo b'shelo amad b'din. To which the Gemara says, no, this is talking, this Bryce is talking about when they haven't yet gone to, to, to Bezdin, and that is why um, Reb Shimon says that he would be Potter, because they haven't yet gone to Bezdin, but I would say that if they did go to Bezdin, so then, already it would be considered like Mamon, and he would have to bring a Korban Shvur. V'homi de reisho b'sha Omar Badin, seifa na'ami b'sha Omar Badin. To which Sigmar says, yeah, but if we look at the beginning of that Brisa, the beginning of that Brisa is talking about where they had already gone to Bezdin. So then it must be that the seifa, that this part of the Brisa is also talking about where they already went to Bezdin. Dikatoni reisho, ain li ela dvarim shemishamun alayna sakarin. That the Reisha had said, well, I only know that there's a Korban Shvua by things, by, by Mamu, by things where you have to pay the principal. Tashlumi Kefel, Tashlumi Abba Chamisha. How do I know that even when there's Kefel, even when there's Abba Chamisha, Va'ones, Va'amifate, Umotzi Shemra, Minayin, how do I know that even in these cases there's a Korban Shvua? Tamad Loma, the Apostle says, Umal Ma'al Riba. It says, Umal Ma'al, and he definitely did something nudniki kind of. And we, the double ocean of umma alama it even includes not just Karen, but even Kefel, Abava Khamisha. Hey dami. Now what does this mean? Idalo Omar Badin, Kfila Mi Ika. Now if that's talking about where they haven't yet gone to Bezdin, why would he be hyped to pay Kefel? It's not right. He, the guy can always the, he can always the the thief can always admit it and then Modbiknas is potter, right? Or like uh, you know, he doesn't right until Bezdin says that you have to pay it, right? It's not finalized. So, the fact that we're saying that there's a Korban Shvua even by Kefel and Arba Vachamisha means that clearly they already went to Bezdin. And we're saying that the first part of the Bible is talking about where they already went to Bezdin. So, and the Sefer is also talking about where they already went to Bezdin. And the Sefer is where Rib Shimon says that you're going to be Potter from a Korban Shvua. So, we see that even if they went to Bezdin, because the Rasha and the Sefer have to be consistent, so even if they already went to Bezdin, Reb Shimon is still saying that we don't treat it like Mamun, we treat it like a Knas, and he's going to be potter from Korban Shavuah. Omar Leh, so now Rabba responds to Abai, because Rabba, of course, had said it was Mamun. Yet over here, we seem to be saying that Reb Shimon says she, she says Knas. Omar Leh, Rabba responds to Abai, look. Oh, that's the Shabbos horn. It's okay. Still have time. Omar Leh, Yachilno, Nishanu Yelach. So Rabba says, look, I can explain to you that Reisha Bishamad Badin that the first the part of the Bryce is talking about Bishal Ahmad Badin, Vesefa Bishalo Ahmad Badin, and the Sefa is talking about where they didn't yet go to Bezdin, Bihula Rib Shimini, and it's entire and the entire Bryce is Rib Shimin. Vishinuye the Khike Lom Shanin Allah, but it wouldn't be really a good answer, it would be a forced answer. The Imkain, because if it was entirely Rib Shimin, Omar Li, you Rabai would Abai, you would respond to me that um O Lesne Rasha Rib Shimin Omer. Meaning, 
In the middle of this brisa, it then says Reb Shimon Omer that, right, that the following was Reb Shimon's opinion. If the entire brisa was Reb Shimon, it would be strange that smack in the middle of the brisa, it would all of a sudden say, by the way, this is, this is Reb Shimon talking. It should say at the beginning of the brisa that the fo- that what follows will be the opinion of Reb Shimon, or it should say at the end of the brisa that what preceded was the opinion of Reb Shimon, but it wouldn't make sense that in the middle of the brisa, all of a sudden we would introduce Reb Shimon, unless, right, it, it implies that basically the first part of the brisa is not Reb Shimon. Okay. I see them, fine. Um, Ella Kula Badin. So rather says Rabbi, look. Okay, it's true. The entire Brisa is talking about Bishamad Badin. They had already gone to Bezdin. Shimon. And the first part of the Brisa is, is the Rabban, and the second part of the Brisa is Rib Shimon. Okay, so Rib Shimon seems to be saying that even after they went to Bezdin, if he admits right by Onus Mufata, he's still going to be part of Korban Shavu. Umodin Allah and says Rabba to Abai, look, I admit to you, then in Korbin Shvua, that with regard to a Korbin Shvua, Dirachmona Patre Mi Vikihesh. That I admit to you that yes, regarding Korbin Shvua, Rib Shimon would say that if they already went to, to Bezdin, then he would be he would nonetheless be Potter from a Korbin Shvua. Bihikamina Mamon and says Rabba, when I'm saying that Rib Shimon's opinion is that it's considered Mamon, because we just said that he's Potter from the Korban Shavuah, implying that it's a Knas. So what does it mean that it's Mamun? The Arisho Levana. To inherit it to his children. Meaning that, um, it means that Rabbi Shimon would say that um, with regard to um, 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 this, fine, that once they come to court, right, once they come to court and, and, and the father is awarded the money, so then the children at that point would be able to um, right, if he dies, it would go to the children. So even though when he denies it, it would be potter from a um, korban shvua. So we treat it in that respect like knas. But with regard to the fact that if the father dies, the brothers would inherit it. So in that respect, we treat it as mamon as opposed to a knas. So now Abai asks Akasha to Rabbi. He says, one second, I don't understand. Rib Shimon Omer. Rib Shimon says, that Rabbi Shimon had said in our Mishnah that if you have a, a Naira and they come to court and you know they're awarded this money, but then the father dies and they never collected it yet. So whereas the whereas the Rabbanon said that the money uh, uh, goes to the brothers. But says Rib Shimon, Rib Shimon Omer, lo speak of the gavos at shemesa of arein shel atzma. He goes to her. Vi Omer at mamon have lo rishul levanav. And if we say that we treat this money like mamon to the extent that right, the Rib Shimon is saying that it's considered like mamon to the extent that it'll be inherited by the brothers. The atzma amai to achin boy mahave. Then why does Rib Shimon say that it goes to her? If we're saying that once they went to court. Rabbi Shimon considers it to be um, mamon, well then it should be inherited by the brothers, not by her. So on my Rave says Rave, Hamilsa Kashoi Ba Rabbi Rav Yosef Rav Yosef Esrim V'Tartin Shnin. Rave says that for the twenty-two years that Rabbi was the Rosh Hashiva in Pumpadisa, before Rav Yosef became Rosh Hashiva. For those 22 years, the Taka had this kasha about how could, right, Rabbi had explained that according to Reb Shimon, once they come to court, the money is considered, right, it's considered mamon. Yet, Reb Shimon says that it's not inherited by the brothers, rather the money goes to her if the father dies before it's collected. For 22 years, they had this kasha. And they only, the answer only was revealed once Rabbah died and Rav Yosef became the Rosh Hashiva in Pumpedisa. Uferka and Rav Yosef was the, finally answered the question. Rashi says that the Ebrister sort of helped out Rav Yosef to kind of, because as we learned at the end of Masech the Brachos, that Rabbah was the Oker Harim and the uh, Rav Yosef was Sinai, that Rabbah was the really sharp one and therefore sort of to give Rav Yosef some street credit, the Ebrister uh, gifted him the answer to this kasha. Shiny hosom damakrov in nosan haisha shochiv ima laavi anari chamishim kesef. That look, the pasuk says by onus mifata says vinosan 
Ha'isha shochev ima la'avi anayi chamishim kesef. That that by lo zichsa Torah la'av el mishas nesina. That when the Torah says that the father gets the fifty shekels, it's only v'nosan. It's only from the time that he gets it. But until the father is you know receives that money, it's not considered his to inherit to the brothers. So then how do you understand when Rav explains that according to Rabbi Shimon it's considered mamon and that it, got, it is inherited by the brothers from the time they go to court? Bishai Knossos. It's talking about other fines, but not by Onus Mufata. By Onus Mufata it says Vinosan, it only becomes the father's to inherit to, the, to his sons once, um, once he receives it. What about by Eved, where it says that the 30 shekels uh, goes to the master. It says, Yitein Ladonov, you have to give it to the master. So, Achinami, let's say over here also, Lo Zichsa Torah Lo Adon, El Mishas Nesinu. That the Torah only awards it to the master from the time that he receives it. Not from the time that they go to Bezdin. So, Yitein Lechud Venosan Lechud. We say, no, the, those two psukim have two different words, right? By, um, by, by Onus Mufate, it says Venosan, whereas by in Ebed it says Yitain. Yitain means right, well. Venosan means he has to dafka receive it. Yitain is more global, um, and it implies even if he hasn't actually received it yet, um, still it would be inheritable. Yehochi tamloma v'kichesh tamloma loma v'nosan Well, if that's the case, that um, that onus mufate is sort of different than the other knases, right? That onus mufate is different than Ebed. So then why do we just lump them together in Vikichesh? It should say Davka by Onus Mufata. It should say Vinosan. That Davka only from the time that um that right that that right that he receives the money would it then be considered Mama. So Amarava says Rava ki itzrich vikichesh kigon sha omdu badin uvagra. So says Rava, well, it says Vikichesh talking about a situation where she went to Bezdin when she was in Naira. Uvagra and then she became a Bogaris, Vamesa. Right? So at the time that she collected the money, she was already Bogaris, so the money went to her. Vamesa, and then she died. Dehasam, that in that case, Kikayaris Avia, Minodida Kayaris. That in that case, when the father is getting the money, it wasn't actually given to him, it came from her. And therefore, even though the money wasn't given to him directly, in this case of Onus Mufate, still it would be his to um, inherit to the to his children. Yehachi, if that's the case, Yatsu Elu Shein Knas Mamunu. Well, if that's the case, that we're saying that um, right, right, we said at the end of Mem Bezemud Alf that Tafket said Mikichish Bamito and it listed a whole bunch of things. We said those are all Mamun; these are Knas. But if we're saying that these are Mamun, so then. Mamunu, this is Mamun, it's not a knas. So Amr of Nachman, Bar Yitzchak, Yotsu Elu Sheikaran knas. Now it means to the exclusion of these that they started out as a fine, meaning though, even though they went to Bezdin and now at this point we're saying they're considered Mamun, but uh, they started out initially as a, as a fine. Ezve, but then we ask a Kasha, Rabbi asks a Kasha, Rib Shimon Poter, Sheinu Mishalim knas Alpi Asmo, that we had initially said that when it comes to write Reuven tells Shimon, that, uh, you know, you raped or seduced my daughter, and he denies it, then he admits it. So if Shimon says that he's potter from, uh, from, from paying, um, uh, Chomesh and, and, and Korban Shavuah. Time of the law, so what does it say? She ain't no knas al piatzmo. And he says why? Because he doesn't pay a knas al piatzmo. Now, in that case, it was Dafka where they didn't yet go to Bezdin. Time of the law, Badin. That's Tafka because they didn't go to Bezdin. Ha'omar Badin, Dimashalim al Piyatsmo. But if they went to Bezdin, where once they went to Bezdin and he's been sort of, uh, can, you know, determined to have to pay this stuff, that even if he admits it, it's too late and he'd have to pay. Korban Shavuah, Nami Michayev. I would say that he would Tafka be Chayev a Korban Shavuah. So Reb Shimon the Devreim, the Rabbonon Ka'omar Lehu. So look, no, Reb Shimon would say that he's Potter from a Korban Shavuah. When he said, when he implies that Davka is prior to having gone to Bezdin, where it'd be, where, where he, when he would admit it, he would be Potter, implying that once he would gone to Bezdin and by admitting he would still have to pay it because Bezdin said he has to pay it and it's too late. 
implying that at that point you'd be chayiv a korban shvua. That's just him replying to the rabbis. The didi afugav do amon badin rachmano patre mi vikichesh. Look, according to me, even if he went to bezin, he would still be potter from korban shvua because the pasuk says vikichesh, which is dafka by mamun to the exclusion of these which are knas. Avaledidchu, but according to you, rabbonim, odu limias. At least admit to me, heicha de lo amon badin. Where he has not yet gone to, to, to Bezdin, Dichi Katova, Knosa Katova. That when, that, right, right, that, right, that, right, that, right, that, right, that it's Davka, a Knas, a Modab Knas Potter. And Modab Knas Potter, and therefore he shouldn't have to pay a Korban. He shouldn't have to be a Korban Shavuah. So for Abon and Save, but the rabbi said, look, Ki Katova, Bosha Sufugam Katova. Look, when, when, when Ruvain is, is saying Shimon, Right, anasu fitisa is biti. So he's focusing on the on the on the on the boshes and the pakam, which are momo. Whereas whereas Reb Shimon is focusing on the knas, the fifty shekels, fine. But Michael, if gay, why why do the rabbis focus on the boshes and pakam, and Reb Shimon focuses on the knas, the fifty shekels? So my papa says a papa Reb Shimon sovered lo shavik inish midi di kits vitava midi di lo kits. Reb Shimon, according to a papa, Reb Shimon's opinion is look. Boshes to become is a relative amount, right? It's it's a, it's, an, it's a subjective amount, whereas fifty shekels is a is a is a fixed amount. So therefore, you know, uh, Ruvain's not going to be claiming uh, a relative a subjective amount when there's an objective amount that he could claim. For Abban and Sabe was the rabbis hold no shavik inish midi dechi modi be lo mifter mitav midi dechi modi be mifter. Whereas the rabbis say, look, if Ru- Ruven, when he's making a claim against Shimon, he's going to make a claim for something that Shimon can't just admit it and get out of it, right? He's not going to be focusing on the, on the knas. He's going to be focusing on the boshes and the pagam that, you know, either way, he can't just admit and get his way out of it. So that's why the rabbis focus on the fact that it's mamun, whereas Rib Shimon is focusing on the fact that it's a knas. Friends, that was the Mem Beis of Masech I have to run because Shabbos is starting imminently. Peace out.